This is Rick Matson from the University of Washington Shoulder and Elbow Service. We're talking about doing a reverse total shoulder. Let's think a little bit about patient positioning and the surgical approach. We use the relaxed beach chair position, enabling us to have full access to the arm and enabling the arm to have a full range of motion. We approach the shoulder through an anterior deltopectoral incision, split the deltopectoral interval, taking the cephalic vein laterally, splitting the clavipectoral fascia here, just lateral to the coracoid muscles, paying attention to the um, location of the subscapularis and the anterior circumflex vessels. We like to take the subscapularis down using a peel in that that provides us with the greatest flexibility in reattachment rather than a tenotomy or a lesser tuber osteosteotomy. We like to release the subscapularis because we think its reattachment is important uh, and we want to have no we want to avoid undue tension on the subscapularis, so we release it from the capsule as shown here and from the coracoid muscles as shown here, so we have good excursion of that tendon. Sometimes we need to do an extra release around the coracoid muscles to make sure we get adequate bounce of that subscapularis. We like to protect the axillary nerve uh, at the inferior border of the subscapularis as shown in yellow here. Then we release the capsule. We like, like to release the capsule pretty much all the way around the glenoid as shown here, protecting the axillary nerve uh, from injury. We expose the humerus by placing a Dara retractor behind it. And we sometimes need to use that Dara as a shoehorn to deliver the deformed proximal humerus into the wound. We make the cut at 45 degrees with the long axis of the shaft. And now we are prepared for the next step, which we'll show you in the next video.